Welcome to St. Luke United Methodist Church and our midweek update. My name is Pastor Kurt McElkey and I'm so glad that you could join us today for some announcements and a preview of this weekend's worship. So we will be resuming our pastor study tomorrow, Thursday, May 12th at either 10 a.m. or 7 p.m. online or in person. We're going to be continuing the study called Faithful and Inclusive, the Bible, Sexuality, and the United Methodist Church. There is a new Zoom link available for this class. So we're changing, so the Zoom link we've been using for a really long time, we're changing it because we went to a different a Zoom account. And so I have posted the new Zoom link for tomorrow on our website under the events uh, on the church calendar, and then I'll also post it on Facebook by 9 a.m. tomorrow so that you all will have that available. So don't forget though, we have a new Zoom link for this study. Um, now that the choir season is over, we are looking for those who might be interested in doing some special music over the summer. If you play a musical instrument or, or sing, we would love to have you participate. But it doesn't have to be music either. Um, if you have a gift that you would like to share, such as a poem, a testimony, some artwork, is there a YouTube video or a song, a CD, or something that was really meaningful to you and helped you connect uh, with God in some way, we would love to have you share that. And I invite you to sign up in the Book of Opportunity that goes around um, during worship. There is a tab for special music, um, and you can put all of that in there. Or you can call the church office and let them know, uh, let Tanya know, our new uh, administrative assistant, and uh, we will get you signed up. Um, please mark your calendars for Vacation Bible School, June 5th through the 8th. This year's VBS is called Food Truck Party. And on the 8th, the very last day, we're going to be having a big party where we get to sing and play some games together with the kids and their families. Um, we're going to have Kona Ice will be there, and we plan to serve Tasties. Uh, for a free will donation, have some food. The food is actually going to start at 6 p.m. and then the end of the VBS program will start at 6.30 p.m. and uh, we'll have, we'll, like I said, we'll spend that time singing, uh, hearing uh, from the kids and what they learned and all of that good stuff. Uh, please visit our website to register. We need uh, to have all the kids register if, if at all possible so that we can have an idea of how many things we need to order and how much food to prepare. Um, so please check that out on our website. There's a link in the description below. On May 15th at 2 p.m., so this Sunday, we will be having our monthly day of service. We're going to be serving at the Belmont Community Center, helping them to kind of spruce up the outside of their property. We're going to be laying down some mulch doing some power washing and maybe even a little bit of painting. We'll probably be doing some trash pickup around the park surrounding the Belmont Community Center. So we have things for anybody of all uh, ability level. And so if you would like to help serve in our community, uh, please join us. We're going to meet at the Belmont Community Center. Um, and so we'll, we'll be parking in their parking lot uh, this Sunday, the 15th at 2 p.m. So I've been doing a daily devotion each day, except for Sunday, of course, on my podcast called Pastor Kurt's Pulpit. Uh, each one of these uh, daily devotionals average about 20 minutes in length, and they consist of me basically reading the daily lectionary scripture passage. We have some time of silence so that you can have your own personal reflection time. And then um, if I feel like the Spirit's leading me, I might even offer up uh, some of my own thoughts and reflections on those scripture passages as well. Uh, we then close with a time of prayer, and, uh, and I post those by 7 a.m. every single day. And so you can find my podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts, on Spotify, iTunes, Audible, Google Podcasts, etc. You can also download the Podbean app and find me there. I also uh, post each episode on the church's Facebook page by 7 a.m. every single day, and so you can listen in that way as well. Um, but uh, this is just a really great way to start the day um, in prayer um, and, and in the midst of God's Word. And I've already talked to several folks, folks who have been listening to this, and they don't necessarily always listen to it in the morning. They listen to it in the evening when they get home from work. And that's perfectly fine. I, I tailor them to, you can listen to them at any time during the day. Um, so please check it out. Um, it's a great way to uh, uh, spend time in God's Word, especially if you're really unsure about how to do a daily devotional time, but you're wanting to think, wanting to start something up. This is a great way for you to start. So um, on June 5th, following the 1030 a.m. service, we are going to be having uh, the big farewell barbecue and party. 
uh, where we get to celebrate our ministry together. And though my last Sunday isn't until June 12th, this is really kind of the best way and best day to do this party. I'm not really sure all that we're going to be doing other than eating really good food around the barbecue um, because I didn't plan it. But I know that we're going to be eating yummy food and we're going to be celebrating our ministry together and trying to say some goodbyes. And so um, I know uh, things are moving really fast in this transition and uh, we are trying to get everything put together as much as we can. Um, and so I, I'm just so thankful for all of you and all the things that you have done and uh, for my family and myself. And um, this has just been a really great appointment. And it's going to be, there's going to be some sadness uh, in the move. Um, but I'm also really excited about what God is about to do um, in your midst with Pastor Ravon. Um, and then what God is going to be doing in Ogallala with myself and, um, and their community there. And so it's, I'm, I'm really excited about what God has in store for us. It's scary. Change is scary. But uh, we know we've got some good things going because God will be with us in the midst of that. So uh, this weekend in worship, we were going to be exploring Acts chapter 11, verses 1 through 18. In this reading, Peter was being criticized for entering the home of an uncircumcised man. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, according to Jewish law, this was a really big no-no because it could make that person, that Jewish person, uh, ritually unclean. Um, but God as God often does, has other plans. Sometimes church rules can be beneficial, but other times they can kind of be a hindrance to the sharing of the good news of Christ. There is a tradition in the church of arguing over doctrine and theology. Uh, we've been doing it since the beginning of time. Uh, the UMC is in the middle of a big argument right now over human sexuality. Um, even the early church had disagreements, as we see played out in today's scripture passage over circumcision. One of the biggest arguments in the early church, because um, the, the early Christian church was really a movement within the Jewish church, was um, should Gentiles who are becoming into the faith and following Christ, should they be required to follow the same rules that the Jewish uh, brothers and sisters in the faith have had to do? Um, and circumcision was a really big problem for the Gentiles wanting to follow Christ, um, which is understandable as a guy, I get that. <laughs> so, um, so this was an argument that they had, and, and God led them through it, just as God will lead us through all of the many different things that, that we have to struggle with as the church. Um, because, you know, things change. And we've, we've got to go with the flow and, and go where God leads. And uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about this weekend in worship. I hope you can join us at any of our three services, Saturday at 5.30 p.m. or on Sunday at either 8.30 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. And of course, the 10.30 service is always in person and live streamed. And so I hope you all have a blessed week and we'll see you soon. Bye.